You're right guys, um, just doing a few videos here in the PowerPoint to just give you a more detailed look in addition to the worksheet you've got in the folder on how to take an image of a person or subject, remove the background and then put that image on a new background of your choosing. So I've got an image of Chris Evans here. If you want to bring your images in, just go to Documents and you can literally just drag and drop. It's the easiest way to do it. So once you've got your image, if you need to resize it, click Control T and that will help you make it bigger or smaller. Um, if you've got a smaller image and you want to keep it small, just make it big for the starting process anyway. The bigger it is, the easier it is going to, to, to go around and quick select it. And you can change the size later on. So first thing you're going to do, there's quite a few ways you can do this, but I find the most thorough way is to go to select, select and mask. It's going to bring you to this section here. Make sure over the, on the left hand side that your quick selection tool is selected. Then using the bracket keys, you can to change the size, you can click this here, which will increase the size of your brush, decrease it. I find it easier to just use the bracket keys on the keyboard. Saves a bit of time. But then what you want to do is just paint over your background. Now this should do all the work for you here, it'll recognise what you want to get rid of. See so it's pretty much just done everything there. Um, increasing and decreasing the size of the brush will help make it easier for selecting more or less of it. With regard to this here, sometimes it does make a mistake and it will cut out something that you want to keep. So what you want to do is, if you hold the ALT key, you'll see this minus appear in the brush. Another way of doing it is just selecting it up here, but again it's just easy using the key. If you hold the ALT key, this will bring back parts of your image that was removed that you want to keep. Sometimes you just have to zoom in more and make the brush smaller just to bring it in. But there you go. You can just paint over it, make sure everything's in there. With things like little strands of hair, don't worry because there's a way we can bring them back in. That I'm going to show you in the next step. Well, that's pretty much pretty much it there. Again, it, it, you want to make sure you've got um, a very good um, good image quality because if it's a blurry image, it's going to make it a bit harder for the selection tool to to get what you want to get out of it. But once you've selected it, on the right hand side here. On output to make sure it's set to layer mask. Just click OK. It's going to bring you to this stage here. What you want to do is Control and I to invert. And there you go. It's just selected this. Just your subject that you got before. Um, I'm not going to really bothered about that. That there. It's that you probably won't have an image with things like that. But when it comes to the composition later, I can just get rid of that in the sizing. But that's pretty much it. In the next step, I'll show you how to bring those little strands of hair in that will just add that extra detail.